Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks or Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is merge two sorted linked list in reverse order and it is a medium level problem. So the problem basically says that we have been given two linked lists of size n and m which are sorted in non-decreasing order, right? And if you actually have a look at the function, you will not actually be given the size, you will be just given the pointer. They are just defined two different linked lists, right? Now we have to sort them in non-increasing order. So the initial linked lists are in non-decreasing order. We have to sort it in non-increasing order. And uh, this is the whole problem. You have to return the head of the final linked list. So we are actually going to derive the solution to this problem from a very popular uh, merge sort implementation. So we use this particular method while doing merge sort. So the actual problem is, let's say, it is exactly the same problem. Let me just define it once more. So let's say we have two arrays, one is this one and uh, maybe if I can select this, yep. So we have two different arrays, right? Now let's say each of these arrays will have some values. So I'm going to write the values inside them now. Let's say this is one and then three, then four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And here it is. Let's say uh, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, 10, right. So let's say we have these initial values. You can clearly see that both of the arrays are sorted in increasing order, right. This one and this one. Our task is to find the form is to find the final array, which should be a combination of these two arrays and should also be sorted like this, right. So how do we actually form that particular array, the final array? What we do is we keep three pointers. First pointer will be here. The second pointer will be here. So let me erase this. The second pointer will be here and the third pointer will be pointing in the final array. So for obvious reasons, the final array should have the size. Let's say this is of size n. This is of size m. The final array should be of size n plus m, right? And the third pointer, let's say, is pointing towards the final array or the first position or the current position in the final array, right? Now, if we want to sort the array in increasing order or non-decreasing order, what we do? We compare these two positions, which are like the current elements in both of these arrays. We take the smallest among them. So, the smaller one is this one. So, if I, we write one here. Now, we do two things. First is, since we have used this particular thing and used this particular position, we move to the next position here and move to the next position here as well. Now again, we do the same thing. We compare these two positions represented by the current pointers, this one, two and three. Now the smaller one is two. So what we will do, we will write two here. Now again, we will do two things. Since this position the, or this particular element has been utilized, we move on to the next pointer. And since this position has been utilized, we will move on to the next pointer. So we move one space here and we move one space here, right? So you see, at each step, what we were we are doing, we have specifically two pointers, one pointing towards the first array, one pointing towards the second array. We take the smaller element among them, put it in the correct position and increment two pointers next, right? So what will be those two pointers? The first pointer should be from this particular final array, which is pointing towards the current element. So it should point towards the next empty space. And the second pointer that should move is the element which was, which was just utilized, right? Or which was just used this pointer should move on to the next position. We keep on doing this until we find our final position. Now there are very well cases when, when we have one array is smaller and one array is larger. So let's say what we do in this particular case. This is very simple to implement. We maintain a while loop till both of these pointers are within the specified range. So let's say in this particular case, the size is three and the size is one, right? So let's say this is the first pointer i and this is the second pointer j. So while i is less than 3 and j is less than 1, right? So while both of these conditions are satisfied, we will do some code and let's say j goes after it, right? j reaches 1. So we will have, we will have to use the re remaining elements of the first array. So while i is less than 3, we'll put some code here and we will also have while j is less than 1 and then we will put some code here, right? So you see the first, it is divided into three parts. The first part is where we deal with the common stuff of both of these arrays, right? The second part is the area where we deal with the first array. 
and the third part is the area where we deal with the second array right so in this particular way we will be able to merge two sorted arrays now talk, coming on coming back to the linked list one interesting thing about that particular question was that the input array was sorted in non decreasing order non decreasing order but we have to output the final linked list as non increasing right so that basically means some extra works some extra work for us so if the array or the linked list is non decreasing that means it is like in the sorted manner right 1 2 3 4 5 6 we want the final array to be non increasing that means we want it to be in the reverse sorted order 6 5 4 3 2 1 right like this so what extra work do we have to do the first thing that we'll have to do is we will have to reverse the input link list we will talk about it in a while how we will do it but let's say now we have got the reverse link list so we are just going to reverse these two arrays 9 7 6 9 7 5 3 1 and then on the right side on the second array we have 10 8 and then we have 6 4 2 now you see we have the same two pointers here and here we have the third pointer here instead of taking the smaller element now the only difference that, that we should make is take the bigger element now first right so we will take 10 here move this pointer and this pointer so two pointers moving one goes here and the other goes cone goes here now we again take the bigger one among the two so between 9 and 8 9 is bigger 9 is here and 8 is here we were going to take 9 so we take 9 here right and then so on we continue our process so there are two differences first of all if you want the array to be sorted in non increasing order or this descending order the input should also be or the two arrays that we are trying to merge should also be in the same order right the other difference is that instead of taking the minimum elements we are just going to take the maximum elements so to convert this non decreasing linked list into the non increasing linked list we will have to reverse the linked list so in case you do not know how to reverse a linked list just uh, bear with me for a while so i'm just going to show you a quick demo of how we can reverse a linked list so let's say these are the boxes and let's say uh, you are at the first position right so this person or this guy has a very weak memory he cannot remember much things there is one thing that he can clearly see there is an address written on each of these boxes right he can see that and he has a paper scroll on which he can write certain addresses so for this particular use case we might need two or three addresses let's see how many we need so one of the addresses that we need is the previous node address and one of the addresses that we need is the next node address right so let's say we have these two addresses written on the paper and this particular address written on the box right so currently this address is pointing towards the next block so now you want to jump from this particular block to the next block and reversing this particular link right so how do we do that we need to perform a couple of steps first first of all i am going to store this address into my written scroll right because if i do not store it i might forget it where it was right so this guy i already told you has a very weak memory he cannot remember much things so before re removing this particular link or removing this address from here he must write it down somewhere so that is why we write the address of this particular block in our paper scroll let's say right now once we have written this address we can set the next of this particular block as the previous since we want to reverse the links that is why we are setting the next of this particular block as the previous so what is the previous in this particular case since you are at the first block so the previous is going to be null so now this is pointing towards null and this block has broken right or this particular link has broken now let me make the remaining links as well so it is initially like this now you have reversed the successfully reverse the first link now since you were smart and you had already written this particular address next address in your paper scroll now you know where you want to go so this person will teleport to this particular new address but before doing that you also need to update your previous address because once you come to this particular block the previous should be this one but if you don't write it i told you again if you don't write it this person might forget where it was so before moving on to the next block you save the current address in your previous right so now let's say you have done all the steps correctly now you move on to the next block right so we will do the again same the process so let me just write it down so for the first step should be first step should be save the address of the current 
नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक इन इन और समवेयर राइट सर राइट नाउ सेट द नेक्स्ट ऑफ करेंट ब्लॉक एज प्रीवियस ब्लॉक द थर्ड स्टेप शुड बी अपडेट द प्रीवियस एड्रेस विद द करेंट ब्लॉक जंप टू नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक एज previously stored right so these are the four steps you need to perform in order to jump from one block to other right so eventually what you will do you will reach on to the final position or this particular null pointer and this is when you know let's say this is null you have successfully traversed the linked list so what will be the head of the reverse linked list so it should be the last block how do you get the address of this last block uh when you come to this last position null pointer you will realize that you already had this address in your previous pointer right or in your scroll where you have written the previous address so for this particular null position the previous is the last block this particular block and this is the exact address that we need so we can return the head of the new linked list as the previous node that we had right so this is how you can perform the operations right so you have reversed the linked list you have merged the linked list and this was all about this particular problem now let us have a look at the code so what i have done is i have first of all reverse the link both of the linked list so i am passing node 1 into this reverse function and i am setting the new head as node 1 right similarly for node 2 as well we will have a look at an it in a while what this reverse function does but let us for now treat it as a black box and assume that it works and explore the further code now i have initialized my new head with null pointer and current node with null pointer as well so now what i do while node 1 and node 2 so if i just directly write node 1 it is going to return false if it is equals to null pointer and it is going to return true if it is any other value so this statement basically means while node 1 is not equals to null pointer and node 2 is not equals to null pointer right so if the first node's data is greater than the second node's data what i what i am going to do if current node again if not current node means if the current node is equals to null pointer right so what i am going to do i am going to initialize a new node so this will be the case when i have not even used a single element right so when this this particular condition will be triggered otherwise if i have at least one element in the final linked list this particular condition will get triggered so if i don't have any element what i am going to do i am going to create a new node set the data with the node one data and update the head also with the current node right now if i already have some elements i am going to create the new node as the same i am going to update the data with the node one data because node one data is greater than node two data and then what i am going to do here is i am going to set my current node next as the new node and update my current node with new node right so basically i was previously at this particular node i created a new node here i set the next of this particular node as this one and updated my current node with this particular node right so this is what i am doing and then node 1 is equals to node 1 dot next right so you see this is similar to updating the j pointer and this is similar to updating the i pointer right now if node 2 data was greater than equals to node 1 data i am going to do the exact same thing it is the exact same code but instead of node 1 everywhere i have written node 2 everywhere right so this is the only difference that we have to make now while node 1 that means there might be a condition when one of the nodes has been exhausted and the other one is still alive so i am going to write while node 1 that means while node 1 is not equals to null pointer so this is the exact same code that i have written here right i have just copied and pasted it and while node 2 this is the exact same code that i have written here right so it is exact same code that i have written here so you see once you understand this main part you have to just write the same code repeatedly right now i at the end i can just return my new head now before uh, submitting this particular problem let me show you my reverse function so what i have done is i have initialized my previous with null pointer now while node is not equals to null pointer i am going to save the ne current next node somewhere so i have saved it in a variable called next i am going to update the current next with the previous node i am going to update the previous with the current node and then going to jump onto the next node which is node equals to next at the end i said that the new head will be stored in the previous pointer so that is why i return previous so now let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and this solution is absolutely correct so 
Yep, so you see it passes all the test cases and this solution is correct. Our predicates were able to understand the solution. If you guys said, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drop, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.